Uh, this is the model SQM100 manufactured by Photoacoustics Technology. Measures optically stimulated electron emission, or OSEE, from a surface which is exposed to ultraviolet light by a sensor. The signal is measured as a current converted to a voltage representing a unit of measurement and displayed on a digital panel meter. The application of UV light when used as a source of measurement was originally discovered by Albert Einstein and the three primary applications of this instrument are surface cleanliness, detecting the absence or presence of films and coating, and the measurement of thin films and coating. The accuracy of the reading is dependent on several factors such as temperature, humidity, airflow, and of course the type and condition of the material to be measured. It is also essential that the test surface be to be monitored is well grounded to the console. If it fails to be grounded, a, sig a light will flash and you will not be able to achieve a accurate measurement. Also to aid in the accuracy of the measurement, there is a gain adjustment on the body of the sensor along with a series of different sized apertures that can be installed for different applications. To give a demonstration of the sensitivity of the instrument, I have a piece of silicone wafer here coated with aluminum that is very stained, rough, has lots of grooves and pits in it. And the, the instrument has two modes. It can either scan a surface or if the application requires that you have to detect the highest peak, it has a peak detect mode where it will maintain the highest peak. To give another example of its sensitivity, here is a common piece of stainless steel. It is uh, rather dirty, scratched up, and there is a residue and a stain. It's not rust, but from some other type of material right in the middle of it. Now, as the ultraviolet source gets closer to the um, the stained particles on the surface of this piece of stainless steel. It will detect and then once it passes the stain it will start to return back down again. Another example of how sensitive this instrument is, here is a piece of machined aluminum. And what I'll do is I'll put this piece on here. I'll make a mark. And we'll look at this spot, let's say, right here. Then I'll take a standard piece of masking tape. Put it on that spot. and then peel it off. And where normally, to the visible eye, you and I can't see the, um, the residue or the uh, um, adhesive left behind, when you put that same spot back under, it certainly can detect even the minute particles of the um, adhesive. 
It's a very sensitive instrument and it's very accurate.